In this video, I'm going to cover three ways that you can buy real estate with no money down. And if you stick to the end of this video, I'm going to show you one way that you can make infinite return on investment. Hi, I'm Ryan, a pharmacist turned real estate investor who teaches others how to build wealth in real estate investing. Without further ado, let's jump into the three strategies. Now the first strategy is partnering up. So I partnered with my uncle and we bought a property which ended up cash flowing us $2,260 every month. Our rental income was $3,750 every month and our mortgage payment was only $1,190 per month. What's really awesome is he financed the down payment 100% and we split the cash flow 50-50. So each person got $1,130 per month, which is $13,560 each and every year. Plus, he also got appreciation, loan pay down, which means every month a little bit of that money goes towards the principal on the loan. And he got tax benefits. In fact, this is a picture of my actual taxes that I paid on my rentals for the year 2021. Now, my role in this deal was basically to find the properties, market to find tenants, and then to manage the properties. And his role was basically to front the down payment and collect passive returns. Now, strategy number two is house hacking, which basically means you buy a house and you rent it out to housemates. You can put as low as a 3.5% down payment. Now, let me ask you a fun question. What price house do you think you can afford with $20,000? Using this method, you can actually afford a $550,000 house with $20,000. Using an FHA loan, you can even have a low credit score and low income to get started. Now, if you're a veteran, you can even use something called a VA loan, which allows you to put 0% down on the property. You can even ask a relative to gift you the down payment for an FHA loan. This is an awesome way to get started because you can buy a five bedroom house, live in one of the bedrooms and rent out the other four. If each bedroom makes $600 per month, four times $600 is $2,400 a month. And if your mortgage is only $1,400 a month, you're making $1,000 a month in cash flow while also living there for free. And who likes free things? Now strategy number three is called rental arbitrage. In this strategy, you go to a landlord and ask them if you can sublet to other tenants or sublet on Airbnb. And you agree to pay for any damages incurred by those tenants. The key here is to offer the landlord more than the standard rent in that area. This makes them more willing to accept your proposal. If you get a yes, let's say you pay $1,500 per month in rent to the landlord, but you can rent out five bedrooms for $600 apiece, so that's five times $600 is $3,000 every month. Well, now you're getting $3,000 per month in rental income and you're paying out $1,500 to the landlord. That means you have $1,500 in profit every single month. You don't even need to live at the house in order to do this method. In fact, it's considered an infinite return because you're only limited by how many landlords you can find that agree to do this with you. One thing you want to make sure is you want to target bigger houses because the bigger houses and the more bedrooms that you have allows you to have a higher profit margin. And those are the three strategies, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please please like and subscribe so that I can reach more viewers and provide education for those who want to build wealth or get started in real estate. In fact, if you have a friend who would like to build their wealth or get into real estate investing, please share it with them. Thank you.